And welcome to the bit with something for everybody. Yes, it's Video View, perhaps the most popular soap in the world of music. Celebrities, stars, friends and enemies meet on the fields of verbal combat to discuss videos. And starring tonight's show are Roland Gift of Fine Young Cannibals, not only known to you for his musical abilities, but also for his talented entry into the world of moving pictures. And Mary Biker, perhaps not necessarily known for his glamorous lifestyle, but more so for his very specific musical sound and unique personal style. Welcome, gentlemen. Hello. Act Hi. one, scene one. Gary Moore, also known as the man in the long coat, comes up with his title track. It's from a forthcoming album, After the War. Let's have a look. Enter Mary. Every time we, Gary Moore does a video, there's always flags in it, and the, the Marshall Stacks put me off. So it's, I, it, it, it's just a typical crap heavy metal video. Mm -hmm. Nice long coat, though. Look, he did, his coat was nice, I've got to admit. Yeah, but it, was, it was long. I was a bit perplexed about the haircut. I didn't see what it had to do with Gary Moore or... Well, I was quite excited about the helicopter bit at the start, but there wasn't any after that. But, nah. Roland, your views on this one? Do yeah, the Marshall with... stacks were 270s for me. Mm. Pardon? Oh, two, oh right, 270s. Right, yeah, yeah. Two, so, you know, Marshall stacks, so big heavy metal groups. PA things, yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's nothing wrong with Marshall amplifiers, but it's just... I mean, they're not they're even usable, do they? Just no, that, you know, that's the big joke. They're all empty yeah. behind. No <laughs> you can send off to Marshall. They send them down in a lorry and stuff. It's and true. what about Gary Moore then? Is he a, a man that anybody has respect for in the room tonight? No, I mean, he's, as a guy, he's probably all right. You know, yeah. he's a human being. <clears> but I don't love his music. That's always the we, used to have a, we used to have a problem. A place that we used to rehearse. We always just try and try and get this certain kind of amplifier, and they said, "Oh no, you can't have that. Gary Moore's got it." <laughs> so uh, we got this personal thing against Gary Moore and his bass player, but. Um, no, not, not, not Gary Moore. Thank you very much. Yeah, one man and his amplifiers hides them all under that coat. Anyway, touring, U the, touring the UK in February will be New Model Army, currently on a warm-up lap of pubs and clubs, which started the new year. The single from the forthcoming album, Thunder and Consolation, is called Stupid Questions. <laughs> Roland, New Model Army. Yeah, what about him? No, that's well, no <laughs> I asked you that question. That's why you're <laughs> here. Uh, uh, they're old-fashioned, really. Well, I'm, I'm sick of all. I mean, if you've got, if you've got, if this is all you've got tonight, I'm going to go home now. Oh no, 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 no! We've got a few nice ones. Yeah, you've got some modern. Oh, some interesting yeah. music. Interesting music coming up. But <laughs> I, must, I must defend New Model Army because I quite, I, in a way, I do like them because I must say this because a lot of their fans follow us. Yeah, that sounds like good business sense. Yeah, that's good business sense. But um, I didn't think the song's particularly very special. But uh, New Model Army, all right, quite good going to see live. Good stomping band. I've never seen them. I would say they were old I've, I've never seen them live. I must say that. Uh, they're quite good live, actually. Yeah. How can you say? So, what, you know, what, what, what do you what, mean by old fashioned? Exactly. I'd, I'd, I'd like to know. Guitars and just the whole sound sounded like something that could have been done ten years ago. But do you think, like, you know, music, music should be sort of fashionable? I mean, is that your perspective on it? No, but you should try and do different things. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. If you want, well, you don't have to, but I mean, it's, I mean, it's more interesting. I find it more interesting. I'm in a, I'm in a guitar band, and I'd, I, I wouldn't say that we were old fashioned because we're just the fact that we play guitars, you know. Yeah. I don't think you, you could you could say, oh, that's old fashioned because you listen to stuff, a lot of stuff that gets into the charts. It sounds no, dreadfully no, old fashioned to me. Uh, yeah. I mean, no, no, all, I agree, all, I all acid house sounds like really bad. 70s disco music. It I is mean, bad, you know, 70s yeah, disco it's just, music. It's just how you play it, though. It's just how you play mm, it. I suppose. Yeah, I mean, no, I mean, we, we courses use, we for courses. Use, we use guitars. Oh, that's what this show's all about. Of <laughs> um, well, Mary, it's a shame we aren't reviewing your video next week on video because Justin, uh, uh, aka Slay the Level, the gentleman singing there, is going to be in. Oh, that's all right. It's a shame. He'll be in with Mike Rutherford. Um, anyway, this is something you might might be more up your street here, Roland. Yeah. Black are back. With the third single from the comedy album, incidentally, Colin Vernon will be in on Night Network doing an acoustic set in a couple of weeks. Here is that new single. It's a track called Now You're Gone. <laughs> so, Roland, was that more up your street or not really? Not really, no. And I was waiting for something to happen in that video all the time. Yeah. Mm. Like he was going to take his clothes off or something. Or he was going to... That's not the sort of thing that happens in that video, is, is it? They're always pretty no. nice and moody. beautiful and moody and well, very well made, a lot of money. Mm. So what is your street, then? We haven't really found it yet, have we? We haven't, no. I mean, I like our music, of course. Well, Funny and Cannibal is probably one of my favourite groups. <laughs> yeah, they've got a great new single, apparently, mm. um, She Drives Me Crazy. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, it's a fabulous, yeah. fabulous song. Roland, Roland um, Gift. The, um, Gift, yeah. Very, very, Looks a lot like me. Mm. Does, he's, he's a very, very opinionated man as well, I've always, I've oh, always read. Yes. Red, yeah. um, Shame about the version of um, Ever Fall In Love. Nothing personal. 
What would you say about that in Mike? Would you agree with him about that um, cover version? What, about our cover version? Oh, you're of Roland, yes, yes, of course, yeah. No, 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 Music Wars, as I no, said. No, 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 I was just trying to get, add a bit of spice to the, um... Steve Dougal liked it better than their own. Did he? Okay. Yeah. Well, well, that's... <coughs> I think we'll, we'll, we'll I, leave Mary... I'd just say on the, on the fish oh, scale, right. that was carp. On the fish scale, that was carp. That's a surrealist joke. All right, okay, for all those existentialists out there, there we go. Now, the next one coming up is Andy Paul at Newcastle Lad, whose debut album will be out fairly shortly. This is the new single. I'm afraid I'm not quite sure what this is called. I'll tell you when we come out of it. <laughs> Who am I to be left behind? That was pretty unanimous, that one, wasn't it? We've got you agreeing we, on something yeah, there? Yeah, we... That sounded like so many bands that that sound like each other who I can't even remember the name of. It was so, sort of tepid, insipid. Yeah, I, I knocked it off because I reviewed it the other day for Going Live, that Killers programme. What's program. Going Live? It's okay. a Killers yeah, programme well, on Saturday morning. Soon be seeing Mary Biker presenting Going Live, by the yeah. way, ladies and gentlemen. That's <coughs> the hot new booking. Is that with you? <laughs> yes, that's when you start your uh, children's television Yes, let's not talk about that, shall we? <laughs> um, so, so, Ryan, just, just continue. Let's review it again because most of our viewers have got taste and don't watch um, what comes on the other side of... Oh, Friday is that the night. other side? Yes, well, no, no that's, that's, that's late, you know, earlier what, on. What was, oh, the the what was that band called again? That, that was Andy Porlack, Newcastle lad. Oh. Yeah. Home of heavy metal. <laughs> Obviously yeah. not there. <laughs> no, I didn't, I didn't, it actually didn't grab me at all. In fact, we were talking all the way through that one, so, um, obviously didn't... Yeah, what they failed. were saying was is that Mary got, he received a bet from one of his mates to say to Roland that he didn't like his version of Ever Fallen In Love. That was our Damien, by the way. Damien, dear, dear. So we got, are we, are we <coughs> talking about the music now or just continue? Well, no, no, it, it wasn't, it didn't hold her attention, so it wasn't a very good video, really, was it? No. I didn't mind it. I'd seen it before. That's why I was talking. Oh, right. What did you say when you saw it before? I said I quite like the eggs and the typewriter and stuff like that. Is, that. is that supposed to mean something, do you think? I mean, I don't... Actually, no, it's, it's, they're all the words in the song. Oh, right. That, it's just... Which is a bit naff, actually, It is, it is. It's a bit obvious, isn't it? Yeah, that is a bit obvious. Mm. But you talk about that sounding like so many other bands and stuff. When you listen to a record, do you, do you, do you, can you ever listen to a record and just listen to it like, you know, with cover versions, for instance, like um, Bond the Bass, Say a Little Prayer. Can you ever listen to a record and think, I'm just listening to this for the first time and sort of blot out wherever it was or wherever it has well, been Well, it's before. impossible, almost impossible with the cover, isn't it? Because you have got the other one there. You, you, it's in your mind, isn't it, if, you, if it's a good and cover. And that's the only reason it. that they've done it. Well, what, it's what, been sort of done been, what makes anyway. you want to do a cover version, in a sense? I mean, like, you know, the cover version you did. What, did you listen to this record and think, I love it so much, I want to sort of pay homage to it, or, or I can part, do yeah, this better? Yeah, Buzz, or... Buzzcocks are one of my favourite groups. And it was one of my favourite groups And a chance well. to do it different as well. And also, it's something that people don't really expect to, you mm. know, to cover punk songs. The other thing that's it's quite interesting done. is, um, as we just found out in the green room, that old Mary knows Roland from the days when he used to be in punk bands back in Hull. Well, I don't, I don't know him, but... Uh... You know somebody who knows me? Knows yes. Yeah. So you're in a couple of groups before um, Find Out Cannibals, eh? Uh, uh. What sort of stuff were you playing? I mean, who could you li liken yourself unto back in the early days? Well, we'd, we had this one group called The Acrylics, which was kind of sort of punky reggae. That was the band I'd heard of. That was it, wasn't it? Yeah. And we were really unlucky, you see, because we were there at the beginning of the scar time, but because we were up in Hull, mm. nobody knew about us. Well, you see, we find all these things out here on the video view. <coughs> Auto cue's broken down, so thanks to my beautiful assistant, Mary, I will now tell you who we've got on. Put it down there. Dave Allen from uh, Gang of Four Plus, A and Other of Shriekback, a group you may know and love from Sheffield, recently became King Swamp, who are now signed to Virgin. Here's their debut single and first product. It's a track called Is This Love? <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you held the board, Mary, you can start on that one. Well, um, they're on the same record label as me and they use the same engineer. It's all getting a bit in this. I mean, yes, who, it is. Who, it is, it is. You know, we've had a lot of this, sort of like home farm talk, but out there, all right. you know, we don't really care so, about sorry this, Sorry, though, in TV land. Let's just make it a bit more general, so something we can all relate to. Um, heavy metal without the spandex, cock rock. <laughs> it's not, nothing different, really. It's, uh... I did, didn't do anything for me. No. I mean, you know, would I go the and Marshalls buy The Marshalls were there again. Would I go and buy it? Would you no, buy it? I wouldn't buy it. Mm. I could get what you a version if you wanted it. Could you? <coughs> You're doing more of that in talk again. Yeah, Mary. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, I'm going to have to get it from Virgin. No, no, I'm going to have to push you two around the studio a bit. But Can you get any other records? Mary, could you, yeah. um, could you, yeah, uh, next card coming up. Love and Money, who will be doing a session here on Night Network next month, and it's their second single and title track off the Strange Kind of Love album, Funny enough, it happens to be called Strange Kind of Love. Roland Gift is taking this laid-back TV situation too far, and I won't even press his own button. 
You're going to start on that one. I'm going to start on that one. Yeah. Well, he has got a very big bottom lip, hasn't he? Yes. <laughs> very, a very astute observation. That's what I though, noticed though. most in the video. Mm -hmm. Nothing else, then? Not really, you don't no. get, you, you don't really get excited by much, do you, Roland? It, it, to be honest, it's on, on Roland's defence, um, there's not really been a lot to get excited about, really. Thanks, Mary. <laughs> Because he was picking on me. Yeah, no, no, I wasn't was pick, picking, picking, I was, picking no, on me. No, I was not. Mary's performing fabulously. <coughs> Roland's just sort of, you know, being a bit one-way. But he's laid back, isn't he? Look at him. Extremely. It's very late at night, isn't it? It's late. I'm very tired. <laughs> yes, and it's so, way past my bed. Well, in that case, here's something to... Oh, dear, dear. Here's something to liven this up. Mary, the next <laughs> oh. card, please. Oh. Shit, this is an Now, onto, onto some quality here. Spania, who... <laughs> who, in 1987, was composer of the biggest-selling single, a track you all knew and loved then, called Call Me. In 1989, looks like it's been another big year with this smasheroo, I Want To Be Your Wife. Beautiful, beautiful formation, formation knobbing there. Mm. <laughs> Roland said that he'd like to take her roughly from the rear. <laughs> <Ooh>. Fascinating. <coughs> and what was that about your flesh cigar and her smoking it? Oh, no, 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 no. Not, well, not, things not really, point. really are just falling apart here in the studio, <laughs> now, aren't they, fellas? Is, is there nothing that can save us? No, we, 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 was, we, 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 we like that video because it had drama. Lots of drama, lots of theatricals. Graveyards. Mm -hmm. Rolling like, around on the bed. Metaphors going on. Black cats with... Mm. She, she always reminds me of everybody else rolled into one, that woman. She's like, um... It's like somebody's pieced her together, like some kind of Frankenstein yeah. monster. Bit of, the bit bride. Of, bit of Hazel O'Connor, a bit of, uh... A bit of Dusty Kim Wilde, in there. Dusty, Dusty Springfield, yeah. isn't it? Not as good. I wouldn't utter in the same breath as Dusty, though. Wouldn't you? No, not really. Don't have all the records, Roland. Do you dance a lot? Do you like that sound? Do you go to discos? What's your nightlife like? Oh, um, well, I'm mostly knocking around TV studios at night. Tough in it on the promotional track. Yeah. Yep. OK, then, and on to another one here. Millie Vanilli, practically the same as last year. In fact, they just retitled an old number. Baby, don't forget... Baby, forget my number. I mean, why bother re-releasing when you can just change that title? Thank you, Mary. Nice one, eh? Well, wow. Mmm. Mmm. They remind me of, um, Terence Trent Darby's not-so-successful younger brothers. That's true. <laughs> but did you ever see the last one, Girl, You Know It's You? No, is it the same? It's exactly the same. As I say, they've just worn a different pair of shorts and changed the title. Chuck and Die, though. Chuck yeah, and Die. I can't see what that was doing in there. Well, it's pro it's probably appealing to the royalists. They're probably, you know, there's probably a lot of people who buy that because they're... Really you know, Ameri I don't know where they're from, but Americans really think, think that... They're American. The royal family Yeah, that everybody in England knows the royal family personally. <coughs> That's probably why they're doing that. Mm. Mm. They're, they're another one of those record company bands that look, look like they've been pieced together from other bands and sort of... Like you said about Terence Street yeah. Derby and um, what's, what's that guy used to be in... Um, Sh uh, Shalimar. It looks like, a lot like well, that. Jermaine Stewart. Jermaine Stewart, yeah, a bit yeah. sort of... Well, well, yeah, a lot of the companies do that, don't yeah. they? I mean, when Tiffany was out, then you got a whole lot of Sort of 16-year-olds singing in supermarkets, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So this summer we're going to be flooded <laughs> with Roland Gift clones, do you reckon? That was a couple of summers ago. Well, it's starting again, though, isn't it? It is, isn't it? It's all, yeah. all, it's all beginning. Well, it the, could be a lot of Mary's. About the big... Well, <laughs> I don't know about that. About the big Roland Gift <laughs> career, your, your next film is out. What's that? Tell us about it. A Scandal. That's about the Perfumo affair, mm -hmm. which I can't remember because I'm too young. But that was when there was this um, young girl who was sleeping with a war minister. Mandy Rice Davis, wasn't it? No, no, well, she was at yeah. it as well, but Christine Keeler, right. that's right. who it focuses on. Yeah. And she was sleeping with a Russian spy <laughs> as well. Mm. That's, that's and what part do you play? I play A laid-back sort of kind of... No, it's a sort of shoot and shag role. Oh, right, yeah. right up your street, I should have <laughs> right been out there. Right. Um, the big news, of course, for Mary Bike here, ladies and gentlemen, is I can announce that Mary is going to get married. Yes, he's found someone who will say yes. She is cool, and congratulations to Sarah from Bomb Party. I don't know if you know about that yet, um, Sarah. You won the Gay Bikers on Acid New Year competition to marry Mary on February the 11th <laughs> in Leicester. So everybody get along to Leicester, that's going to be a big one. That, we, I, in fact, I, in fact, made a film. We did make a film to accompany our first album, which Night Network yeah, have actually, never shown. I, I don't think anybody's really into that. <laughs> I think they ought to know. It's nice to see musicians, it's nice to see musicians have got brains. <laughs> Thanks for your internet chats, it's been fabulous. Coming up the Funk Show with Clear Rockos, the small screen and the big screen. Video of you next week, Mike Rutherford and Justin Slade, the leveller. Hello, Good night. Ben.